everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am so sorry that it has been so long since I have recorded anything other than a weekly vlog for quite a few weeks. If you don't follow me on any other of my videos or social media channels, then you won't know that I'm working on something that I've been calling Secret Project and it is taking up all of my time and yeah, I'm sorry. Just just bear with me. So it's a big thing that I'm working on. I'm really excited about it. You guys are being great about it. I haven't given too much away yet, but make sure you follow me over on Instagram and in my weekly vlogs if you want to know what's going on. And it should be up and running in the next few weeks, maybe, hopefully. But it's really exciting. I'm really sorry that it's taken up all my time. But no more. I am here today to record because I hate not recording. Like, I'm so excited to record today. Like, I just love recording and I've been neglecting my YouTube and my Instagram. And I'm really, really sorry if you've been waiting a long time for this video. I'm sorry. I promise I won't let it go this long again without recording anything other than weekly vlogs. I'm here today. We're going to do my monthly Disney haul, except it's actually going to be, well... The last Disney haul was the middle of January because it was a December and January one. So this is going to be technically a February and March one, but some of these things are from the end of January as well. So it's quite big. It's quite big. Uh, yeah, normally I say grab yourself a cup of tea. It's going to be a big one. Well, this one is going to be the biggest. Like you guys will already know how big this video, like long this video is, but seriously, I know a lot of you guys miss my old setup with the Disney background behind me, but seriously, the bed is covered. Like, this is gonna take a while. So make sure you grab yourself a cup of tea because we're gonna be here a while. Also, huge thank you to Disney Store because for the last couple of weeks, if you don't follow me on my other social media, then you won't have seen, but I've been working a lot with Disney Store. What is my life? And they've been sending me out things um, like as gifts for me to share with you guys. And you guys know I love Disney, so I'm not just doing it for the sake of it. I am loving the Disney merchandise and I want to share it with you guys. So quite a lot of this is actually gifts from Disney store, but the rest is what I have bought. So it's going to be impossible to do this in any kind of order because it's all over the place. So I'm just going to pick things up and show you. And some of these things will be for my birthday as well, but I am still going to do a birthday haul because I got a lot of non-Disney stuff as well. Like I got my little pony and stuff like that. So normally my videos like Disney monthly hauls are filled with Primark, but this month it's definitely filled with a lot more Disney store. I haven't actually got that much Primark stuff this month. So <laughs> not that Primark isn't killing it at the minute because hello, the new Aladdin range is and I also have a blog post coming up with the Aladdin range and what's in it on sellerwaysparlor.com if you want to check that out. And I wrote a blog post on everything that they brought out in the second Beauty and the Beast launch. Oh my god, I know. I didn't even get anything from the second Beauty and the Beast launch. It's not that I didn't love it. I just haven't been getting to the shops as much. So yeah, I haven't even got that much Primark this month. But I wish I had because I went in the other day, filled up my basket with so much stuff. Like, oh, the new area, like, bed and range, like, clothing, and oh, there was just so much cool stuff. And then I ended up putting it all back because I would, I'm just trying to be good. I regret it. <laughs> so the first thing is from Primark, and it is this t-shirt. You may recognize it. It is my favorite print that Primark have ever brought out. Like, the jumper in this pattern, I wish I'd gotten more than one. Let me put it that way. Like, I have worn it to death. Like, it's starting to be a bit too bobbly around the wrists and stuff like I wish I'd gotten more I'm probably gonna have to ebay it and see if I can get another one but my prayers were answered and they brought out this print in t-shirt form so it is just the same as the jumper on the back on the front absolutely love it and um, this is a 10 and it's not as baggy as I wanted it to be like I sized up thinking it would be quite baggy but it's I mean it's baggy and it'll look nice with a a high-waisted skirt in the summer sort of thing that's like the look I was wanting to go for it yeah I love it I love it so much and it was six pound <gasps> I think the jumper was 11 when I got it back in December and yeah they brought out the t-shirts so I need to go back in and get more of these t-shirts because I love it so much like ooh, like I'm probably gonna wear this to death but now I have a jumper for like colder seasons and a t-shirt for warmer seasons so yeah my auntie picked this up just last week so it should still be in stores and it was six pound <gasps> Speaking of the Aladdin range, oh my god, I needed this, like I needed this so bad when I seen it, let me get it out. So this is the Genie uh, Aladdin lamp teapot, it's an actual teapot, I mean, you guys know me, I love my tea, so making anything into a teapot is just goals for me. They also have a blue Genie lamp with Genie's face on and it's a money box, but I don't know, I wasn't feeling that one as much. This one was £10 by the way I believe, yeah, so this is 10 yeah, it is actually 
a teapot like it's a full-on teapot you probably is only going to get one cup out of there if you actually use it as a teapot i'm not going to use it as a teapot because i learned my lesson from using my mrs potts one from primark and the gold came off and i was good and i had to repaint that and now she's display only and i washed her hand wash as well like i was so good at but anyway yeah so if you look at it you can kind of see aladdin well, you can see me, hey, and my studio lighting, and probably all the stuff on the bed that we need to haul. But right here, it says Aladdin. So it is absolutely beautiful. Like, it's shiny. It's all the goodness that you need. I absolutely adore it. Like, it's a teapot. It's an actual teapot. So, well done, Primark. Very impressed. Um, I can't, I really need the Genie cushion, the Genie picture frame. The, the Genie bedding is really nice as well. It's, like, so colourful. Like, oh, I just love the Aladdin range and I can't wait for the live action. So, yeah, well done, Primark, on doing an Aladdin range. They're also doing a Little Mermaid, like, full range is going to be coming out soon. Uh, what else are they doing? They've got, like, a big Bambi one out at the minute. They've got loads out, like they're just killing it. I mean, like I said in my blog post, I was surprised that they did a second Beauty and the Beast range, but at the same time, I was kind of really chuffed for everybody that missed out. Um, loads of people like missed out on the cup, missed out on Mrs. Potts. My Nana went into Primark the other day and picked up a Cogsworth. No queue, nobody like pushing and shoving, like it just sounds beautiful so well done primark on re-releasing everything so that people that missed out can get what they missed out on but i was lucky and didn't miss out on anything that i wanted so yeah i haven't gotten anything else from the beauty and the beast range and that's all i've gotten from the aladdin range and i haven't gotten anything from the thumper range like what's wrong with me uh yeah i'm just not getting out to the shops as much like believe me if i was in primark newcastle right now with a bit of money oh that would be beautiful anyway not to sound ungrateful because what i did get was really cool so yeah the only other thing i got from primark this month was the bag that i was talking about last month in january's disney haul i got the dalmatian purse and the shoes and i really wanted the bag and this is actually off my sister for my birthday so this will be my birthday haul as well um but yeah my uh, sister got me this and it even comes with like a little black pouch inside truth be told i don't think i'll use that like it is attached but you can deattach it i don't know i feel like that should have maybe been prettier it was not four pound uh i'm confused because this tag oh there's the tag okay so it was 12 um yeah there's a tag in here that says something about primark winnie the pooh so i'm obviously forgetting something winnie the pooh there for and i can't remember what it is unless my sister bought something Winnie the Pooh for my nephew because she bought me this yes anyway so this was 12 and it's kind of like a beach bag like I feel like if I go on holiday it's definitely the perfect beach bag like it can get wet it can get sand on it's fine but at the same time it's a great handbag like it is like I'm not a massive fan of this shape and I feel like the Ursula one that they brought out which was black was just too plasticky cheap looking but I like this one I do like this one so yeah it's got the little sticky out ears and i think i got the last one in the store my sister said so i was chuffed because i really wanted it so yeah i absolutely love that i do wish that it had like a zip or something it just has like a little magnetic closure in the center so someone could reach in and you know so definitely not a bag to use i don't know in a dangerous place <laughs> but anyway love it 12 pound and i haven't even managed to use it yet because i really don't know whether it just save it for a beach bag not that i'm going on a holiday anytime soon and if i was i'd be going to disneyland and i wouldn't take this to disneyland because i like backpacks in disneyland i'm going off on a tangent shut up sarah i tell a lie there is another thing from primark and it was also for my birthday and it was the mickey mouse jacket this came out ages ago and it got reduced and i still didn't want to get it because i was like oh i'm skint and i'm trying to be good i think it was originally 25 it went down to 15 then it went down to 10 then it went down to five pound and my auntie picked it up for me for my birthday and it was as the last medium like it was the last one and i would always rather size up like you guys know that i like to size up and things so yes this is a 10 to 12 it's a medium and my auntie got five pounds so it's definitely not in stores anymore because she picked this up in january but you might be able to get it on ebay that wouldn't surprise me so on the front on this side it says um hello folks hello folks and then on this side it's got oh boy and the little patch there it's got the little hand patch on the arm there it's so cute i absolutely love it like i really wanted it i do wish that it was completely fleece lined like it's just the collar that's fleece lined and then yeah the back says that and i love it i absolutely love the fit of it i just i love it i just love it i really wanted it and it was just with being 25 like 
The thing is as well, like if it had been 25 in Disney store, it would have been like, I need that. But because it's 25 in Primark, it's like, that's expensive. Cause that's expensive for Primark, but it's worth it. I love it. And the fact that I got, my auntie got it for a fiver for me. So I'm pretty sure that's all the Primark I've got this month. Like I said, not a lot. What was that noise from my throat? Did you hear that? So another thing I got for my birthday, like I said, I'm still gonna do a birthday haul cause I got a lot of non-Disney stuff, but I did get this. So I got this off my boyfriend, Matthew, for my birthday. Um, and it's the Disney Dreams Collection original art by Thomas Kincaid, 2018 calendar. I'm sure you all know who this guy is. His artwork's amazing. Obviously he's not with us anymore. He has like, um, oh, what would you call it? Like a group of people that carry on his work and do it in his kind of style. Photos on here, the drawings are original Thomas Kincaid and then some are, hang on, let me see, it'll probably say. I know what I mean, but I don't know how to say it. Along with new images like Beauty and the Beast 2 and Mickey and Minnie Sweetheart Cove. So some of them are by him and then some of them are by the like group that carries on his work. That makes no sense. I hope that makes sense. But anyway, it's such a beautiful calendar. Like it is gorgeous. So the last four months had like, the Simba artwork, oh, it's just gorgeous. I really want one of his paintings, like real ones, but we all know that they're quite costly. So that'll probably never happen. Um, so January's Pinocchio. I used to watch Pinocchio a lot when I was little and it was scary, so I hadn't really seen it as much now that I'm older. That's one of the new ones, that's really pretty. In fact, let's just go through all of them. Oh no, we can't, we're gonna go up to April because I don't like to ruin the surprise. I know that sounds weird. But anyway, that was March, so that was, um, Sleeping Beauty, absolutely gorgeous that one. And then we're up to April. So every month when we do the new um, month, like me and Matthew guess what the next one's gonna be because we don't look. And Matthew guessed right this time. He guessed that it was gonna be The Little Mermaid. I can't remember what I said, but yeah. So anyway, that I know you can get from a lot of places. It says $14.99 on it. Oh, and 10.99 UK. And I know, I'm pretty sure Matthew got this off Amazon for me. So I'll leave a link below actually if anybody's interested, but I love it and it's hanging in my kitchen. Well, not right now, but usually it does. Okay, I have seven cups to show you. Seven, I'm not even joking. Um, Some of the cups go with collections, if that makes any sense. So I was gonna show all seven cups, but I think I'll show the collections and show the cups as part of the collection. I just feel like it'll be better that way. So let's start with, <laughs> oh, let's start with Mickey Memories. <laughs> yeah, <sighs> is anyone else trying to collect these? <laughs> of course you are, you know exactly why I'm pulling this face. So I managed to get January's and I got the plush as well. So let's do it by collection. I got my January cup and plush. I didn't get the pins or the pin book. Uh, I don't know. I just feel like I'm going to, oh, I'm going to use these. Like I'm using these. I've took them out of the boxes. I'm using them. I absolutely love them. I love the fact that they all match, but they don't. So they're the same collection, but they're all different. So I really wanted the cups. You guys know I'm a sucker for a cup. And the plushes, I mean, he is gorgeous. So I wasn't going to say no to the plushes, even though when you add it up at the end of the year, how much you've spent it's a lot mm, like it's not good so yeah I really wanted these but I did kind of want January's pins but at the same time I was like oh I'm trying to be good they were 15 pound and yeah I don't know and yeah I just didn't bother with the pins like yeah <laughs> I collect pins when I go to Disneyland and stuff but other than that like not massively so yeah I didn't get the pins I actually got this guy two weeks after he was released and the cup, a week after it was released, there was no problems. There was no hype. There was no issues. Hmm. So let me show you close-ups and then we will go on to February. <laughs> so this is the plush. He is absolutely gorgeous. So he's like the start of the collection. Uh, he's got Steamboat Willie like embroidery all over him. He's like pleathery. He's a little bit funky looking, but in a good way. And then it says, Mickey Mouse Memory Series 1 of 12, which I absolutely love. I love like just knowing that you are collecting a collection. Disney merchandise collector problems. And then it has a nice quote there on the foot, which matches the quote inside the cup. So he's just gorgeous. He really is. I've left the tag on because they go on top of my curtain reel. That's where I'm putting them now, <laughs> if I can get all 12. <laughs> And yeah, he's got a little tail and he's just, he's gorgeous. He really is. He doesn't have any gloves on. So he was 25. Um, I remember the first month you weren't allowed to use your discount on him because 
there was just there was just a little bit of like people didn't really know if he was a collectible or not kind of thing and yeah for january personally i wasn't allowed to use my disney life 10 percent discount code but never mind um so then that's the quote inside there hope you can see that and then it's got steamboat willy all over the black and the silver the only thing i don't like about the cups is that it doesn't say one of 12 it does on the box but i've took them out of the box so yeah i've thrown the boxes away like i don't need them and it says i only hope that we never lose sight of one thing that it was all started by a mouse walt disney and it says the same on the foot so that was 12.50 that was 25 and the pins were originally 15 i think the pin book was 20 but i could be wrong and i think you got an extra pin if you bought the pin book but i could be wrong yeah so i got them absolutely no problems like two weeks after the release <sighs> so i'm very very lucky that i got them and i absolutely love them like he is gorgeous like oh it just makes you want to collect more because he is so special like he's gorgeous he's lovely and then february came around and yeah i remember thinking there's no need to hurry there's no need to rush i got the january one is that focused on me i got the january one two weeks after he was released so there's no there's no need to hurry uh yeah he sold out at my local disney store within an hour of opening i didn't go <laughs> for opening because i didn't think there was a problem like, you guys are great and i was like oh my god like february's is sold out can anyone help me and a lovely girl sarah who works at newcastle disney store said that somebody returned one which would not happen now and she kept it back for me and i went and got him and i got the cup there was still cups and there was still badges again i didn't bother with the badges i had the 20 percent off code at the time and i had a 15 pound gift voucher so i didn't have to pay very much for these at all i love the colors oh it looks quite nice with my hair no but this is my favorite so far february is my favorite i love the january one but this is just so like this is the 1920s mickey i love the 1920s oh i love it so he's very like waffle and like velvet and yeah i'll give you close-ups so I was very lucky that I managed to get this one. So this one says Mickey Memories Series 2 of 12. I know you guys have all seen these and probably some people are a bit upset and sick of hearing about it because of what's been going on with getting them, which we'll get to when we get to March. Uh, but yeah, he's so gorgeous. Like, oh my God, I love him. Like, he's, oh, he's just lovely. Like, I love him. He's definitely my favorite. I just love the yellow and, oh, he's lovely. Or the gold. I absolutely adore him so he was 25 again and then the cup has got like the waffle kind of all over it now the only thing about the february ones that i was disappointed with is that there's no coat inside or on his foot and i feel like there should have been a different coat every month and then the cup should match the plush just me i feel like it was a nice touch in the january one it would have been a nice touch in the rest of them and then march came around And oh lord, apocalypse now. <laughs> I think by this point, you know, the plushes were popping up on eBay. People were paying £300. I seen a January one go for. Whoa, crazy. The cups were starting to sell out, which were really easy to get a hold of up to that point. I went to my local Disney store for opening. When I got there, it was open and they had sold out. It turns out that they'd opened an hour early, um, although apparently that's when they all was opening, but not according to their website or a lot of people that I've spoke to that shop at that Disney store. And apparently this happened at a lot of Disney stores as well. The Disney stores were opening early. I don't know if that's just because there was a massive queue outside, so they knew that they were going to sell out of them and more people would just queue and it could get dangerous. Like, it got crazy. Like, I know people that got into fights. I know people that got pushed. I know people that got, like, pushed to the point where they fell over. Like, March release was not good. It was not good. I managed to get the cup. There was about five left when I got there. Plushes had sold out in four minutes, I think they said. Um, yeah. There's still badges, but again, I wasn't interested in the badges. I love this one, though. It's very Mickey's Diner. So this is 1930s Mickey. Um, again, no quote or it doesn't say three of 12. This one's definitely the plainest. Like, this one has a lot of different textures going on. And obviously, the February, uh, the January one has the Steamboat Willies. Um, but yeah, so I do love this one. But it's not my favourite so far. Like, I think February, then January, then March so far are my favourites in order. So that is that one. It's very dinery, which is the point. I think it was modelled off like a 1930s Mickey Diner. Again, if I'm wrong, correct me. But I do love that one. 
But yes, I was very, very not happy that I got myself all the way down to my local Disney store, which is about a 15 minute drive and only to find out that they had already opened and sold out. And when I got there, there was a lot of other people showing up for the same time as me and who were very upset to find out that they'd opened an hour earlier and sold out. And the thing that annoyed me is, is that it wouldn't have been a problem if I'd known that they were opening for an hour earlier, I would have went for an hour earlier. Ah, calm down, Sarah. <laughs> so yeah, I didn't get the March plush. I do believe in March, they put in the rule of two per customer, but a lot of Disney stores didn't stick to it. Somebody told me that the woman in front of her bought eight plushes, which stopped her being able to get one. I mean, how good would you be if you were stood and there was eight plushes, so you know you're gonna get one and there's only one person in front of you, and then the person in front is allowed to buy eight. Like, Disney store staff should know that they're allowed to refuse sale. It's pretty obvious what that woman was doing with them. So yeah, it wasn't handled great at a lot of the Disney stores, but some people did message me and say that their Disney store handled it very well, and they were allowed in one at a time, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, there was a petition went on so that it was one per customer, two per household sort of thing for the next release. So just in case you didn't know, Disney store did release a thing saying that they're gonna release more of the plushes from June possibly July onwards, so it's gonna be easier to get them. It's gonna be a ticket system, so no pushing and shoving, and it's one per customer and two per household. So it should be easier to get, but you're still probably gonna to have to get there for opening. So it's just so stressful. Like, it's not supposed to be this way. It's Disney, it's supposed to be magic. Like, I wanna walk in and peruse my plushes and pick one and enjoy the collecting part and the paying and the plushing. Oh, it's just stressful. But well done Disney for taking on board what has happened in everybody's feedback and sorting it out, hopefully for the next release. So I'm not looking forward to getting April's, uh, even though it is gonna be a ticket system and stuff. Gonna have to get there at ridiculous o'clock. Gonna ring at my Disney store and find out what time they are opening this time. Ah, wish me luck, guys. So I'm actually really lucky, and because of you guys, Quite a few people messaged me and said that they had spare um, March Mickey memories and I am actually like, yay, getting one. Somebody has one for me. Um, rightly so, she doesn't want to send it in the post in case it gets stolen. So we're just trying to find um, like a time where we can both meet each other and she's going to give me it. Like Obviously, I'm going to give her the money for it, but I have a Mickey memories March plush. Yay. So thank you guys so much for helping me. Who knew that was going to happen? I mean, one minute it wasn't a thing and then the next minute everybody's going crazy. Hopefully, it'll be a lot easier and if you missed out, I'm really really sorry and if you had bad experiences I'm really sorry but if you didn't miss out and you had really good experiences then yay hopefully the rest of us will too that's enough of the Mickey memories conversation because <laughs> obviously I got the January one after the last January haul so that's why I have three to show I realized that for a lot of you guys it's obviously been going on since January and it's almost time for April's and I'm only just getting out talking about it now but this is my first Disney haul since they got released so I need to film more Woo. hopefully I can now forget about all that drama now that I've managed to get it off my chest with you guys. I know people that haven't managed to get any of them, not even the January ones, so I do know that I am very lucky to get what I got. Okay, so the next stuff is part of the mini mm, Rocks the Dots collection, so let me show you what I got from that. Oh my god, I love this collection so much. It's like Disney and fashion. Like, I feel like Disney store is really taking into account the adult Disney fan now, and there's a lot of more adult collections. There's like the Mickey Mouse sketch collection, which is kind of the equivalent to the mini Rocks the Dots one, or as far as I see it, it is. There's cushions, there's plates, there's stationery. Like, I just love it. There's a lot more for adults in Disney store at the minute, and I feel like that's a really good step forward. Don't get me wrong, I love the toys and the merch and the plushes, but that doesn't mean that I don't want some adult stuff in there as well. So with this collection, the mini Rocks the Dots, there was a suitcase, there was dresses, Oh, it was beautiful. I, the only thing I would say is that the sunglasses were beautiful, but they were for children and they squeezed my head and I really wanted them. So from this collection, I got the Mini Rocks Dots cup. I absolutely love this cup. It's so gorgeous. It is like a 3D bow on there. I do believe this was 10 99 and I think it's still in some stores. And then it's got her signature in there. Oh, I love this collection. It's so fashionable, but still Disney, like the red and the black and the, the white. Like, I love that combination. So I got that and then I got the matching plate. And then the plate is plastic. I believe it was four and it's kind of like a side plate. And then there was a bigger one with X's all over it and it was more black and white with a bit of red. And that one was six. And I really want that one as well, to be honest. I just haven't gotten around to getting it. So it's just got the dots on and it says 
mini mouse on it so yes I really like that and then I was very kindly gifted quite a lot of the collection from Disney Store. If you follow me on Instagram and weekly vlogs you'll have already seen it but if you're only here for my Disney vlogs then I will show you it now. Okay so firstly this box is beautiful. Uh, this is the new gift boxes that Disney have brought out. Oh my god they're beautiful. I think there's four sizes. I think this is the medium. I have a large as well. Um, there's a smaller one and then I think there's a flatter one and I remember I said that I think these would be beautiful storage boxes like I've, I'm keeping these like I've kept all the stuff in them all this time so that I can show you guys and now I'm going to be able to put it around my house and then I'm going to keep the gift boxes and store things in them and somebody messaged me on Instagram and said that she bought all of the sizes and put a picture up and said and like stacked them and she was like I'm going to be using these now as stacking boxes because like you suggested it and they looked beautiful and they're a really good price as well they're only like 350 and they are huge and really durable the magnetic closure oh my god I, I mean it's rainbow mickey it's the best thing in the world so it opens up like that and then it has disney store on the back there and it kind of like opens like that so yeah all the stuff that they sent me is in there so i'm gonna put this down so it's not falling everywhere i have been dying to use this stuff but i didn't want to until I'd showed you it because I don't want to forget anything. For instance, this I've been dying to put on my desk and it's like nice again, I get to open it again. But anyway, it's so just fashionable. So this is the like pleather um, Mickey, sorry, mini mouse um, phone holder for your desk. Um, my phone only fits in it if I take the cover off. It is actually good for pens and stuff, like you could put pens in there and things. So I think I might do that most of the time. So this was £10. When I was in my local store the other day, they still had two of these left. So it's all like pleathery and squishy. I love the colours, like I love red, black and white. And then there's a tag there that says Mini Rocks the Dot. There we go. Mini, Mini all about the dots, sorry. But it is Mini Rocks the Dots, this collection. It's just so sturdy and like you can store things in it so that is gonna look so cute on my desk i love it thank you disney store so i got that oh my god i'm so happy i can finally use these things so the next thing i got was this pencil case but i'm gonna use this as a sunglasses case in my handbag in the summer i cannot wait in fact i think i'm gonna leave it in the car to put my sunglasses in so that they're not like going around the door when i'm driving and getting scratched up it's beautiful so it says Minnie Mouse there it's all pleather fake leather it's not real there's a little pocket there which I probably won't store anything in but it's nice and then the obviously like pencil case bit Minnie Mouse on the zip there and then on the other side is Minnie in all her glory and it's like sketch so oh and it has the Minnie all about the dots little patch there as well it's so gorgeous like I feel like this range particularly is really well put together like it's it's expensive looking and feeling and it's cheap so this was eight pound i feel like that's primark prices but no offense primark this is better quality like i don't know there's just a lot to it like the embroidery and yeah i just love it i just love this range i also keep all of my letters off disney store when they send me things and like hang them on my wall because i'm so proud of myself this i was desperate for i remember on the day I got sent this box, I was at Disney Store drooling over this, but I knew I was getting a box off them. So I was like, I better not buy it just in case this is what they're sending me. And they did send me it, so it's probably a good thing I didn't buy it. No word of a lie. I had been looking for the longest time for a like journal cover that you can unzip and put your notebook in and then put your pen in and put all your notes in and then zip it up and then it keeps it nice and clean and tidy in your bag because I don't go down very often but when I go out and about I get ideas and when I go to London is what I meant to say um, I like to take a notebook so I can like write on the train and things and yeah I just get like ideas for YouTube videos and just all sorts of things just things I need to do like I'm a list person and normally when I carry a little journal or like Book, like notebook ground in my bag it gets all bent and I've got really nice ones and I don't want them to get ruined so I've been looking for a Disney one of these for the longest time and I just couldn't find one anywhere I could find plain ones so it was like Disney literally answered my prayers when this came out I was like what are the odds so I can't wait now to get the tag off this and finally put it in my bag and use it I've been dying to use it but I didn't want to get it dirty in my bag and then show you guys because it is white but it's like, that's fine, that's what it's for. I don't know if I already said, but this was 12. So you unzip it, it says dreaming in dots on the back there. And then it has two slots for you to put your notebooks in. So when this fills up, you can just put another one in, or you could even have two in if you've got two notebooks for two different things. 
and then the book itself had little like bows on it and then there's a pen there and oh it's a nice smooth one mini rocks of dots and then all the different kind of post-it notes there oh, i love this so much i just it's just it's just perfect it really is so thank you so much disney store i'm leaving that out right now and putting it in my handbag not even joking and then the last thing that they gifted me was the glass compact mirror finally i can get this out and leave it in my handbag the amount of times that i've been sat in costa to, <laughs> to top up my lipstick and i keep getting out my old bad mirror with cracks in it and everything and i'm like i need my mini rocks the dots one but i can't use it until i've shown you guys so yeah it is this gorgeous little glass compact mirror and it's got like a little bow closure there and you open it up and then it's got it's just i mean this is 10 pound am i right 10 pound it's just it, it it's an adult disney collection i love it i love it so much so yeah a cute little mini mini compact there so thank you so much disney store like that's one of my favorite ranges that disney store have done for a while um not that i don't love what they have it's just that's one of my favorite ones like if you had to say what's one of your favorite ranges from disney store like i know a lot of people love the animator collection and stuff but this mini rocks the dots one is definitely a favorite with me like ugh. okay so the next range that i'm going to show you I, I like i said they've gifted me a lot this month please no hate and i know that might sound really weird to say and be like no hate you'd be surprised how much hate you can get from getting sent things from disney store like i know that's a really negative thing to say on my channel but i experience it a lot on instagram so please no hate like they gifted me things and i show you guys that's how it works okay so this is the big one this is the big version of that box and it has a nice big bow on it so this is the big one um, and this was the All My Disney range, which again is still in stores, maybe not all of it. Um, this was like February time when I got sent this one. So yeah, it's definitely still in stores though. And there's now a new All My Disney Little Mermaid collection. Oh my God, I need it so much. And it's like got a big Sebastian float for the pool oh, and the flounder um, glass. Like, oh my God, I'm obsessed. I really am. So if you want to keep up with me on a daily, on a weekly basis on what I get from Disney, um, or what I buy Disney, woo, then make sure you check out my wiki books or check out my Instagram because I always put this on my Instagram on the day I get them. Okay, so the first thing, oh my god, I've been dying to use all this stuff, is this absolutely gorgeous five more minutes of Sleeping Beauty travel cup. And it is ceramic, it's such lovely quality. And I feel like this is another very affordable range because um, this is £10. But it's so beautiful and just affordable. So we've got like the glittery grey castle on the back there. So it kind of pops open like that and then you can peel it off as well. And that is now my new travel mug because I normally take a cup of tea down when I drive down to Metro Centre. So now I can use it. The next thing is this absolutely gorgeous. You've got to put your behind in your past. Um, obviously Lion King little makeup bag. I'm going to use this as a toiletry bag when I go to Disney and things, which I know it's not very often, but I just want to, you know when you go to Disney and you just want everything you own to be Disney, to just completely be in the Disney mood, so that's what I'm going to use this for. Although I actually do need a new makeup bag for on a daily basis, so I might use this. I'm just worried about dirty in it because it's so beautiful. Um, so this one was £9. That one's definitely still in my local Disney store. Oh, and the inside is so nice. Look at the lining, and it says like all my Disney and stuff, and then it's got like Simbra and it's all gold and i love it oh my disney so the next thing is this really cute little key ring and it is the cheshire cat one. Oh, it's so cute it's actually a little purse which i think is a really cute idea for hiding like some euros in when you're away and then like it's like emergency euros and then you can just like clip it on your bag because like nobody's really going to know that that's a little purse so I don't know, maybe that's a dangerous thing to do. But I just think it's really cute. I love the pink and I love Cheshire Cat. So I absolutely adore that. And that is already six pound and it's like a pleather as well. Okay, so the next thing is this mirror. It's another glass one. I need to get it out and show you that because it's so beautiful. This was 10 pound. I love this mirror. It just feels evil. Mirror, mirror on the wall. I like what I see. And the black is actually like glittery. So I hope you can see that. So obviously it's Evil Queen from Snow White. And then it opens up and it just, it's really heavy. Oh, it just feels evil. Oh, why can't I open it? There we go. It's like magnetic. Oh, hey. Oh, oh. So you open it like that kind of shape. Oh, it just, it just sits in the hand and you feel evil. This is definitely the mirror you need for applying lipstick. And it says, oh my Disney on the bottom there. I hope you can see that. I'm struggling to fit in right now because I have this big box on my knee and I've realized that I'm probably wobbling 
the camera stand so if you guys are wobbling loads i'm really really sorry there's just just a lot going on right now around me so the next thing i absolutely adore so need to go on holiday so i can use all this stuff so this is the no prints needed luggage tag. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. I don't need a prints because I have my prints. That's how I look at it. So it's gold and pink, which is fabulous. And this is only £8. And it has a really nice big space on there for writing your dress on. So I adore that. And that was still in my local Disney store when I was in the other day as well. So I love that luggage tag. The pencil set of nine and all the pencils, they are all um, like normal writing or drawing pencils. They're not coloured. And then it's Midnight Curve you like cinderella dream all night me awkward always the rapunzel one mondays are evil luke Sibo play bell so they all have different quotes on and they all like for different like princesses and like characters and things so that is only six pound for that set of pencils and i love the little box it comes in as well so this is one of my favorites from this oh my disney range it is the midnight curfew um passport holder oh i love the color i can't wait to put this on my passport not that i'm going anywhere anytime soon but so it's holographic silver look at that and it's midnight curfew this is only 10 pound that is beautiful and then the great thing about it so you put your passport on this side but then on that side like i feel like this would be my like wallet when i'm away oh i love that little castle there as well so you can put like your id there and then your cards and then your money like this is this is amazing like I love that. That is the perfect little travel companion. It is gorgeous. I kind of want them to bring out one for each princess, but I do love the blue. So this is six pound. It is a bit. It is a big set of sticky notes, and there's loads of different ones for all the like different movies. The little Lion King one is my favourite. Oh, these come in so handy. Like I'm gonna leave a different one of these in each room because you know when you just you just need to write something down and you're like I need a little piece of paper. These like I have one heart like sticky notepad downstairs next to the telephone and the amount of times that i need it and it's downstairs so these are going to come in so handy and i can finally get them out see i didn't want to get all these out because i knew i would forget them and then i wouldn't be able to show you guys so the last thing in the all my disney range that i received from disney store oh i love this i seen this when i went to the um gift magic event um back in december or was it november anyway back when i went to that and i seen this at that event as like a preview <gasps> i can't believe they've gifted me i remember looking at it and being like i need that mondays are evil so evil queen it's so sparkly it doesn't even come up on camera and then the pages are gold and then the best thing about this which i explained in the weekly vlog when i seen it and in my instagram story oh it's gone a little bit bright there it has five different ribbons for five different colored line sections so for me that's great because it's like i can have a section for youtube videos a section for blog posts and you can just keep all of your notes separate like if you're at college or uni like so handy i believe this is 12 yeah so that's 12 and when i was in the other day that was still in my local disney store and that is all of the all my disney range that i was gifted so <laughs> very very grateful very very spoiled girl right now thank you so much disney soul like i don't know what i've done to deserve this but thank you so much and thank you you guys as well because if it wasn't for you i wouldn't receive this stuff and i wouldn't be able to share it with you and i know i couldn't afford to buy it all and share it with you other than when i go into weekly into the store and like record it off my weekly vlogs like i do that most weeks so thank you so much disney for sending me this i'm very very grateful so the next set of things i was gifted from disney store they really spoiled me so i went and seen the new black panther movie and the next day they gifted me some black panther things so i love the black panther movie it's not my favorite marvel movie but i did love the vibe of it the colors like the wakanda people really wanted to incorporate wakanda into like an outfit with these items that they sent me when disney store send me things i always try and get like a really awesome picture with them for my instagram i just love to just put disney in a life and yeah so i'll put it at the side wait a minute that side i'll put it at the side so you can see what i did with it if you've seen the movie so you know black panther's like cousin how he has like the oh what do you call it scars all over his body from the people he's killed so i tried to like do that with like the jacket the studs on the jacket and i did wakanda makeup and everything and i just had loads of fun with it like i think that's what disney is to me like having fun and just living it so they sent me the cup which i adore this cup you guys know i'm a sucker for a cup so it came in this box if you want to get it in disney store it was still in my local disney store uh, the other day so it came in the box just in case you're looking for it it's not 
like this on the shelf it's in a box this is eight pound which i think is really cool for a thermal cup so it changes from the one on the well this side this is really confusing but the black and then if you've seen the movie his suit like when he gets hit takes in the energy and lights up like this and that's what the cup goes like oh i love it so yeah this you can see the lines on it all lights up like purple well in the movie it's purple but on the cup it's blue and then it says warrior and then it lights up and goes and king um on the back there so oh, i love it i love the whole black panther vibe like i said oh i'm out of focus not my favorite marvel movie but i love it Really, really love the whole Wakanda thing, love it. They also sent me this water bottle, which Matthew keeps trying to steal from me. And I was like, no, Matthew, you can't steal it until I've shown everybody it on my monthly Disney haul. So obviously, like I said, I've already shown you on Instagram and on my um, weekly vlog. But yeah, so this is so gorgeous. It's like smooth and it's got Black Panther on it there. And then it says Black Panther on the back in the shape of a Black Panther's like face. It's a good size as well. So Matthew's gonna steal that now. <laughs> £10 that one is. They also sent me this really cool set of figurines which I'm now going to put on my shelves in the other room. I kind of really want to get a Marvel kind of section going. Not like a huge one because Marvel is a big universe. It could take over my shelves but I do want to get like a Marvel section going. So I really 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 appreciated this because now I can start my Marvel figurine collection. So let me just give you a little run through. So hang on I can't do this backwards. That is Black Panther there. That is his cousin. That is his, hang on, that's his girlfriend or ex-girlfriend. That's the general of his armies. Am I getting this the right way around? And that's his sister back there. And then that's one of the rhinos that they used to like um, guard Wakanda from people like me, I guess. Uh, well, no, that sounds wrong. From the outside world. So yeah, this set is £15 and this is definitely still in stores. And it's just a really, you know how like I have this set in the princess form and I really want the Dalmatian one. And yeah, so I'm really, really grateful to have another set. Definitely go and check out the movie if you haven't already. And the last thing that they sent me, I love this so much. I seen it in store and I was like, oh, is this huge backpack. I feel like if you're traveling, this is the backpack that you need. Like, I love it. Like, if I was going to Disney World, this would be my backpack and stuff for on the plane and things. Like, it fits everything in that you need. It's like a hard case at the top here. It's got like pockets for drinks. It has a pocket on the front and this bit opens up and then it has quite a few sections inside for like laptops and things and you can write your name on it. Like, I love it. Like, I know a lot of people are probably looking at it thinking that's like a kid's bag, but at the end of the day, <laughs> with disney people like we we have the kids stuff and the adult stuff like that's what we are we're just big kids and i love this personally i don't really care if people think it's a big kids bag i love it although saying that my little brother has said that he wants it and he's going to steal it from me so now that i've shown you i might not be able to hang on to it for too long because my little brother wants it so that was 16 pound and it's definitely still in stores just love it i love it and i love it with like the outfit that i put with it i feel like i managed to make it adult and cool just saying, just saying. This is a really long Disney haul this month, isn't it? Definitely need to not leave it this long again. I've been talking for so long, my tea's cold. Which normally I don't mind, but I really want a nice hot cup of tea right now. Okay, just to break up the stuff I got sent from Disney store. I got this the other day. Well, I say the other day. I got this at the end of January. <laughs> okay, so if you don't already know, I have a slight obsession with Kylo Ren. Slight. <clears throat> when we were out for my birthday, we went to the arcade at my local shopping center metro center i'm really just a big child on that i collect the tokens in the local arcade and i have a card that i put them on so i'm not just walking around with like a massive stash of tokens so you know when you play on arcade arcade games and it gives you tickets should i say and then i collect the tickets on an actual it's like a bank card and then i'm saving them up and i finally bought something with it the other day because i seen this and i was like <laughs> kylo ren so i got this kylo ren cup i have only used it a few times because it's actually quite small like i don't know if you can tell but it's it doesn't look too small but basically i love tea and i need a good size cup of tea so i think at the minute i've got like two thousand or three thousand tickets and this was like 250 or 350 tickets so i was like yep i'll have that so basically it's just a little star wars um the force awakens which is weird because it's the last movie so i don't know why my local arcade is getting in merchandise from the last movie but anyway because obviously the new one is the last jedi but it is just a kylo ren um cup and i love it it's just plain white inside like yeah it was it wasn't very much it doesn't say the brand or anything it was just in my local arcade okay so the next lot of things i got sent from disney store 
Oh my god, has me so excited. Like, if you're not a fan of Marvel and stuff, they sent me some stuff for the new Avengers Infinity War movie. I am so excited. Like, oh my god, I can't even... Like, the Avengers movies are my favourite out of the Marvel movies. Like, I've seen all of the Thors, all of the Hulks, all of the Spider-Mans, uh, all of the... I've seen Black Panther now. Uh, all of the Captain Americas, all of the Iron Mans, like I have seen them all. I still need to see Ant-Man and Doctor Strange, but apart from that, I think I've seen them all. So yes, and I've seen obviously all the Guardians of the Galaxy because they're going to be in it now. But yeah, everything has been, like if you don't know, everything in the Marvel Universe has been leading up to this movie, this Avengers Infinity War. Oh my god. And the, it's it's to get like the bad guy Thanos who's collecting the Infinity Stones. I'm just so excited. So it's 27th of April it's out. Uh, if that's wrong, I'll put the right date on the screen, but I'm pretty sure it's the 27th. And Disney so kindly gifted me some things to celebrate the Avengers Infinity War is out at the end of the month. And yeah, I'm so excited. The first thing they sent me is this really cute little <laughs> rocket. He's so naughty. I love him. Stupidly, in my weekly vlog, I did not realise that I thought that there was a hole so you could just feel that he was nice and squishy. And then the amount of people, <laughs> the amount of you guys that messaged me on my weekly vlog and on Instagram. And you were like, Sarah, like, you push his head down and he changes facial expression. And I was like, ah, didn't realise that. Oops. Because these are new and I'd never seen them before. So this is Mighty Mugs and it is Rocket Raccoon, obviously. And yeah, so these are quite new. And you push the head down and he changes facial expression. And he has three facial expressions. I'm not sure how much these are because they've just come out and I can't find them on the Disney website. But I will link below everything that I've shown. And I'll link below like the Infinity War stuff so you can see if it's there yet. But he's so cute. So now that I've shown you him, he is so coming out of this and going in my little Marvel section in the other room. Okay, so the next thing is something that I actually really, really wanted. Um, I remember when I seen it on Instagram when they first announced like some of the Infinity War stuff on Disney Store. Oh my god, I wanted this so bad. So you might be wondering, Sarah, there's definitely an Infinity Stone missing. Yes, there is. Um, I still have it and I'm going to glue it back on. And yeah, it fell off. Um, I don't know if it was just mine. I'm sure... It I'm sure it's just mine. Uh, I was probably too rough with it because I took it out and about to take pictures with. Um, yeah, so I think I just was a bit rough with it. Uh, oh, so obviously hand wash only sort of thing. Yeah, you can't put it in the dishwasher. So I think I was just a bit rough with it. But anyway, so it's a little blue one that's missing, but I'm going to glue it back on. And I'm still going to use it. I'm just going to have to be careful when I hand wash it. And I don't mind gluing them back on if they fall off, you know, just glue it back on. It's not a problem. So anyway, this is obviously the Thanos infinity goblet hand and that is his hand and his glove and he is collecting the infinity stones to take over the universe and yeah obviously he's missing <laughs> my thanos is missing the infinity stone because i have it no but seriously uh, i've wanted this so bad it's just so nostalgic i don't know what it is like even matthew was like it looks like something i had when i was a kid obviously the little blue stone goes there like so so please ignore the fact that mine's is missing a blue stone but yeah so it's massive as well, like it's really big and it's £13 and it's 100% still in stores because they sent me this last week so it's still in stores. I wanted that really bad so thank you Disney Store. Okay so like I said I like to go out and take photos with the stuff that Disney sends me like I kind of see it as a bit of a challenge. Like they send me stuff that is hard to put into pictures as an adult because like a lot of it is kiddie stuff. So I'm always up for the challenge though, like I'm a big kid and they sent me, <laughs> they sent me, I've already opened one of them so it was easy to show you. So basically if you watch the weekly vlog you already know this, they sent me the Nerf guns, the Infinity War ones. So there's five different ones, there's Iron Man, there is Captain America, Spider-Man, Star-Lord from Guardians of the Galaxy and there's Hulk. So they sent me Hulk. Mm, which I've had out and they sent me Iron Man and I kept that one in so I could show you guys um, but yeah so they all interchange and lock onto each other and there's like a hundred different combinations you're probably thinking Sarah you're such an absolute child right now and yes I am and we had a lot of fun shooting each other me and Matthew with this I just think they're great I'm going to give these to my little brother because he has Nerf guns that he collects them I've already told him about them these are his Easter present late Easter present he's very excited about them bless him we got the Hulk one out because I was like you know what I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this challenge and I'm gonna go for it. And I dressed up as Black Widow. I'll put the pictures at the side there. And Matthew got his Hulk on because we all know that Hulk and Black Widow are secretly in love with each other. Although it's not really a secret anymore. But anyway, yeah, so I dressed up as Black Widow. I know our wig is too long and people said I looked like, um, 
oh Kim Possible is it? But I just didn't have time to cut the wig. I don't know why I, I, I should have just cut it, but I don't know, maybe I thought I was gonna cut it bad or something. So we went out and we got pictures of me being Black Widow. I wanna cosplay more, like I love cosplay. I love dressing up, I love it all. So Matthew was Hulk and I was Black Widow and we went out and took pictures and it was really fun. So thank you Disney Star for sending me these. They were really fun and I loved the challenge and now I'm gonna give them to my little brother. So I think these are around 20, 25 pound. Again, I couldn't find them on Disney Store's website, but they are from Disney Store. So either check your local Disney Store or I'll, like I said, link the Infinity War stuff. I realise that this is a really long video and we're nearly there. Bear with me, guys. So this is really random, but I was cleaning out my garage for secret... Oh, what was that? Oh, it was a lipstick. I was cleaning out my garage for secret project. In one of the bags from my stuff when I was younger was this. You're probably thinking, what is that, Sarah? This is a goofy hat from Disneyland Paris 1998. And I just wanted to show you this because I've kept it all this time. So I stuck it in the wash the other day. And yeah, it doesn't actually have the date on, but my sister went to Disneyland with the school when she was, I think she'll have been 11 and I was eight, 1998. And yeah, it just says Disneyland Paris on the side there. And this was a goofy hat and she brought it back for me. Like this was my present that she brought back from Disneyland for me. It's a bit big. <laughs> But I found it and I washed it and I'm gonna hang it in my room somewhere and I just wanted to show you. I found some other stuff as well, but it was a bit ruined so I hadn't finished. But this was fine, it just needed a wash. So I just wanted to show you. Apologies if the angle has changed at all, but this is actually Sarah from the future. We'll go back to the other Sarah in a second. So I've just remembered two things that I forgot to put in the haul. So I'm just nipping back on <laughs> and then you can go back to the Sarah. So they're a bit creased and stuff because they're actually in the washing basket, that's why I forgot about them. But I received two t-shirts from Truffle Shuffle. I actually did a full Truffle Shuffle haul of all the things I got. So I got some My Little Pony, like I got quite a few different things. So go and check out the full haul. But if you're just after the Disney, then I got this amazing Mickey Mouse sketch t-shirt. It is like long and oh my God, it's just one of my absolute favorite t-shirts. Like it's so simple, but not like i absolutely love it and i love that it's long length it's really flattering it's just absolutely gorgeous truffle shuffle actually also give me a discount code uh which is i think it's sarah or sl porter 15 i'll put it on the screen you can use it on anything on truffle shuffle you don't have to spend a certain amount or anything like that and you get 15 percent off so definitely go and check out their disney range because their disney range is insane and it's all official disney so i got this mickey sketch top and an absolute favorite of mine is this t-shirt it is a gorgeous lovely like pastel bright blue and then it's got flounder on there and it's like like um vinyl like oh so it's like raised and I just love it. I absolutely love it. It is just plain on the back and it's just, it's so cute and it's so like bright when it's on. So cute little flounder t-shirt as well. So that's Truffle Shuffle as well. And I've got both of those in size mediums. Back to Sarah in the past. Okay, so the last thing, if you've been managing to watch this whole video, then well done, it's a lot of Disney. And I really appreciate you staying with me till the end. If you keep hearing noises, it's the rabbit chewing his box under the bed. There's nothing I can do about it. But anyway, the last thing I want to show you is a lot of you guys know that I have an Etsy store and I do Disney inspired bracelets. So they are not official Disney. I do not work with Disney with my bracelets. I have a new collection coming out. When you watch this video, it'll be in about a week's time. I'm going to be doing um, like Disney inspired luggage tags or what you call them, lanyards. Loads of people always ask me where I got the little um a uh, pass holder for my lanyard and i'm going to be selling them because people always struggle to get them and they don't particularly want to buy them in the park because they're quite expensive and quite plain so i'm going to be selling them so basically what i'm talking about is these i'm going to be selling these on my etsy because loads of people always ask me like for their disney lanyards where did you get yours um because i like showed it in my disney vlogs and stuff so i'm going to be selling them to help you guys out because i know they can be really expensive and yeah i know where to get them so i'm going to be selling them i think i'm going to be selling them for about four pound each and i think they're a bit more than that in disney so just, just in case anyone's interested, on my Etsy I'm doing new luggage tags, new lanyards, uh, pass holders and I'm also going to be doing new bracelets and I'm going to show you one of them now and one of them is a Tinkerbell inspired bracelet because it was highly requested. So I'll just quickly show you, I know not everybody is interested in bracelets, but this is my little Tinkerbell bracelet. So that is the little Tinkerbell there with our little wings and a little flower and then that there is our little slipper. Hope you can see this okay. 
how cute is it though and it's all like green and the little white flowers and stuff i just thought it was very tinkerbell they are on my etsy i will put on the screen when i'm editing this when this collection is going to get launched um i've got new packaging as well like if you're new to my etsy i do like i put them all in like really nice boxes and like pouches you don't just get a bracelet in the like in a letter or whatever like uh, an envelope i do it all really nice for you so yes i will be launching my new etsy collection on the day below so please support me and help me out and go and check it out or just check out my etsy in general i'll leave the link below and a massive thank you to anyone who has checked out my etsy or bought any of my bracelets because it really helps me out and you guys are really lovely about them and always seem to really love them and i promise that secret project is going to be something that you all love and it is coming very soon and hopefully by the time i do a next disney haul if you only come back from the disney hauls it'll be announced but I'll do a whole video announcing it all, like what it is. Yeah, I really need your support and help on this, guys. And I really appreciate all the help and support and you guys just being here in general. Like, I wouldn't be getting gifted things from Disney Store without you guys. Like, I'm so grateful and I'm really sorry I haven't filmed for a long time. Like, I'm terrible. But as you can see, there was a lot. It was a long video. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing to my channel. I realised we just got past 13,000. What is life? 13,000 people are watching me. That's crazy. Over 17,000 on Instagram. Like, you guys are the best. Like, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And I really hope that you guys are going to be loving what I'm working on at the minute. I just really appreciate everything that you guys do for me. Just liking a video, watching a video. You're always really supportive. You're so lovely as well in my weekly vlogs when I'm complaining about all my health problems and stuff. You are just absolutely lovely. You really are. So I really appreciate it. Thank you for being patient with me. Thank you for watching to the end of this video if you made it this far. I'm going to stop laughing because it's a long one. I promise I'll keep recording more videos and I'll not let it go that long again. But just in case you aren't, make sure you subscribe to my channel for more videos. I'm going to be doing a birthday haul. I am going to be doing more of my Disney collection series. I'm going to be doing handbags, I think. So Disney handbags. So make sure you subscribe to my channel if you want to see that. Give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.